Good morning, post-apocalypse, and welcome back to Hope Radio, where together we survive. After a productive day obtaining the robotic sledge and chemistry station, the attention now turns to the impending Horde Knight. I'll be working with traders to gear up, then harvesting resources for a massive buildup at the base. We'll need stronger supports, extra ladders, and most importantly, electricity. But if anyone out there is in need of assistance, be sure to call for aid. For now, this is Tim Reiki, signing off. All right, let's start things off today by doing a quick trader run. Last I checked, the cell box was pretty much full. Okay, so let me then... Have I switched over to scrap armor a little bit yet? Not yet. Okay, I need to switch over to a little bit of scrap armor, I think. I'll get this stuff repaired up, pack up the motorcycle, and we'll head out. And before I go too far, I'm going to make myself a couple of things here. Generator, little bit of forged iron, cement mixer. And with that, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Everything is repaired up to my liking. Let's just jump down here, hop on the motorcycle. And I'm out of fuel, so I gotta run back upstairs and get some. The chemistry station is still rolling. Let's try this again. Jump down here, refuel, and let's get out of here. All right, here you go. Park it right here. It sure feels good to move at full speed on the motorcycle. We don't have to really conserve fuel as much anymore. Okay, but first things first. Okay, yeah, fortunately all of that stuff, or just about all of it anyway, is fully repaired. I need to continue stashing my stuff here somewhere. I gotta get it all out of the motorcycle. Okay, and I'm gonna hopefully need to get myself an awesome sauce. Nice. What else you got here? Rock busters? Can use that a little bit later when we're doing some tree chopping or, you know, tree mining, I guess you could refer to it as, because the Rockbusters works on trees too. And yep, stack up my inventory. We're gonna have to do like a lightning selling round, purchasing, and then try to fly over to Trader Bob's again. I had like 30 seconds to spare last time. It's gonna be pretty close. All right, we'll start off with a quest reward. I will take the forged steel, although Ah, you're making things complicated, Joel. Now I gotta go stash more stuff. <laughs> we'll figure this out eventually. Okay, yes, we want the steel because that's gonna get us closer to getting the robotic turret. And that's all I get from him. What do you got for jobs today, though? He doesn't really have anything that I want, and I don't want to do jobs today anyway. So, never mind. Let's check your inventory. I do believe today was Trader Day. Okay, I have a general sense of what I want to buy. Nothing crazy here. So let's get things properly situated here. Okay, get that out of the way. Get me a pipe pistol. It's, there's one in the car over here, along with my sugar butts. Okay, we're, we're gonna go for maximum sell profit. In fact, I do think I have a skill point or two this morning, and I was going to go into robotics, but we could also just do better barter, for one. We, we gotta do calculated attack, too. Uh, maybe we'll do that instead of robotics. I feel like... It's a toss up here. Now, pretty soon though, I'm gonna do the forgetting elixir and I'm gonna get myself out of lock picking and into advanced engineering and maybe even spare a couple of points over into agility and we'll start kind of packing some points into gunslinger. I do have a nice pistol and if I spend my points properly and get the right mods, it could replace the AK-47. But in the interest of melee being, you know, our primary means of defense on Horde Knight and that's what's coming up next, we'll do calculated attack for one. And with that, let's drink down. Well, we'll do the sugar butts first. It lasts longer, six minutes there. And an awesome sauce for three minutes. And then we gotta do the lightning sell off. Okay, grab up my extra goodies here. Please all fit into the inventory. No, it didn't fit. Okay, round number three. I can tell already this is not going to work. We're not gonna quite make it in time. Uh, do the best we can though. Okay, purchasing time. Triple mod. Leather boots. Glue. I'll even take the cloth, honestly. Water. Corn. Potatoes. Uh, we'll take seeds, I think, as well. Take the Molotovs. And let's try to make it over to the other guy. Not looking good. We got a minute to get there. Yeah, we did not make it. We were off by about 30 seconds. Hey, uh, I got a... What did I do for you? I Oh, we did the red barn and bath and place thing. Yeah, anyway, so let's check your job. Well, no, let's do the, the trader thing right now since we do have some other buffs that are active. The sugar butts is... I'll take his bellows, molotovs, gunpowder, cobblestone. I will even take the concrete mix, some oil shale, vehicle book, water, mushrooms. I'm going to snag up one of these forgetting elixirs just so that I have... 
another one and I'll take the leather hood. Kind of debatable whether I, I want to go into the steel age. It's just the stamina use is so dramatically higher than the stone axe. I think I'll just suffer through the stone axe. Right, yeah. Okay, I, I, I did definitely make some mistakes there in my haste. I probably should have waited until I had a an awesome sauce to benefit from to get that forgetting elixir, but it is what it is. I'm still swimming in cash right now. I have like 10 grand and nothing left to purchase or spend my money on for another three days. Oh, no, my goodness, I had another 13,000 dukes in my motor. So, oh my God, we are really swimming in money. Look at this. That's amazing. I don't even think I need to carry that much. I only need about 5,000 on me at a time. Right, okay, with that, we've got some upgrades at armor and we've got the triple mod and some Molotovs, which I think, I don't know. Let's go with Molotovs on the hotbar. It's really good for dealing with hordes. I mean, pipe bombs are great, but let's mix it up a little and then I'll, I'll make a final decision on what I like the best. Okay, new leather boots on, new leather hood on, new triple pocket mod on. We've only got one row left to unlock. All right, now we gotta get some resources. Basically, I'm just gonna start over here, kinda close to the old WKYA Hope radio station, and chop down every tree in sight. So it turns out we do have a project to work on tonight. Let's get that water collected up real quick. Throw that in there and have a look at this. Robotic turret. We I'm making a bunch of duct tape. We'll be up to 27. So we need, you know, on the order of two or 300 cloth to make the rest of the duct tape. I have plenty of glue. I've got like 60 or 70 glue right now. But 30 forged steel. And as much as I don't like getting steel out of lamp posts. I do feel like we need to do that tonight. We don't really have much else to do unless we want to build in the dark, which I don't. Oh, hey there, Dan. Dan the soldier man. Don't break things, please. That guy's pretty tough. Okay, so we need to probably do like a house, like clear a house and then do all of the lamp posts kind of like on the way home. I think there are some houses right over here. I need to craft the vehicle off-road headlights too. I keep forgetting to do that. But yeah, can we get like a tier three, tier two house over here? The goldsmith residence. Yeah, let's try this place. We'll have a little bit of a fight in the dark here. I'm not interested in your preordained pathways. Just let me in. Oh, it's this place. Should be plenty of beds and couches and stuff here though. Ah, I fell for the trap. Oh, crap. I knew exactly where I was and I still did it. All right. He's going to swim on over here to me, buddy. Come on up here. Isn't there? Of course there is. Another guy right there. Wooden crate here. Forge a headbook here up to 63. We're going to get that crucible in no time and then we won't have to worry about lampposts or anything ever again. Unfortunately, by then I'll have probably crafted everything I need <laughs> with steel anyway. You know what would be a great source for the cloth is that savage country that I've driven by a couple of times downtown. After this place, I'm going to head over there and see if there's a good amount of clothing in there that we can take. This is... Uh, it's We're doing okay here, 80 or so. Just not... Well, on second thought, we might do pretty well here. Oh my... Wow. Hello. Oh, I, I'm suddenly surrounded. Oh boy. Get back. All right, let's get down here and see how this performs. Whoop. Ah. Did I just kill her with the axe? That's crazy. Come on, turret. You're bailing me. You let three people walk right by you. Okay. Gotta get the distance right, I guess. Too late now. Oh, no, it's just a hidden stash. That's nice. But where's the main stash? Oh, there's an attic here. I see. Really nothing up here though. How do we make out for cloth at least? Scrap those bandages. 139, that's about half of what we need. So I don't know. Do we go across town and see if we can raid that uh, savage country downtown at night? Well, it's almost morning. Yeah, I suppose let's do that. These houses are boring to me. Is that the place? It's not, but there's a little crack a book there. 
Oh, I didn't even know about this place. Oh, Munch's carpet. Is that the carpet place? Is there maybe some cloth in here? That took a minute to get in here. Okay, let's find out. Are these cloth? They are. Oh, this is going to be a really good source of cloth then. Okay, just like that, we're up to like 300, and I haven't even done the top floor yet, and there's the bookstore next door, so... And good, I was hungry, so it's good to get that little bit of food here. No, this is not a bookstore, this is just a moving place. I think it's upstairs, maybe? I don't know. I guess I'll take that. Yeah, see, situations like that right there make me think that I do need to put a point into calculated attack. We need to pump that up more, because... I'm getting overwhelmed sometimes without, you know, when I'm waiting for the stun baton to charge up. Oh! Hello there, Arlene. And, I don't, where did you guys come from? I guess zombies just dropping down on me from everywhere. Okay, the thing is about calculated attack, though, is that I'm gonna use stamina a little bit more quickly. Is there anybody dangerous up here, or are we good? Ah, yes, they are in the ceiling. What's new? Okay, that increased attack speed does feel pretty nice, though. Right, oh, the question still remains, though. What about the bookstore next door? I don't know that I really have the time. I might just mark this, and the next time we're rolling through here, I will figure out what's going on up there. Uh, or, it looks like I can get right through that window. Oh, yes. Oh, this place, right. Okay, yeah, that's, there's a lot of books here, actually. Okay, last one here. The bookstore is complete. I did get two forge aheads. I've been reading everything else because I'm quite encumbered. There is a back room I'm gonna poke my head into, and this place is called Richard Munch's Plaza, so I'm gonna start looking for that when we get into the tier four quests. It looks like I'm going through the place backwards because he was, he was waiting to ambush me coming from that direction over there. All right, I've woken a couple of zombies up. Let's just get these last couple of boxes and get out of here. All right, one more there for the forge ahead, and let's grab this. Okay, explosives, good. And we're going home now. Okay, that should be good for just an absolute boatload of duct tape. Yes, we can do 52. So we'll go 26 in my inventory and 26 in the workbench. Then here in my general box, I have all the wood frames we need for construction, the generator, the dart traps, darts, and the trigger plates. And I'll bring a little bit of gasoline with me and I think there's more in the bike. I made up some new concrete mix. That reminds me, we should probably also bring all of the cobblestone and all of the mix that we have. Ah, shoot, I forgot about the steel. Ah, crap. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to get the turret for tonight. What, what can we do for turret ammo anyway? Because uh, that's gonna that's gonna make a big difference. I'd rather use the turret than I would the sledge on Horde Night because we don't really have a good place built in for the sledge. But yeah, only 300 ammo held back by the lead. Let's just go with the regular ammo for for now. Ah, okay, time to do some stupid lamp posts. Yeah. There it is, that's 30 forged steel. And we'll craft the turret, and we'll remember to come back and get that before Horde Night, but other than that, we're heading over to the other base to do construction. Okay, to start things off with, let's get rid of these, because the dart traps are gonna go in here. We're just gonna wire up one side for today. In fact, I'm gonna put the generator over here, sort of, and I will get this all kind of dressed up a little bit prettier at some point. So, okay, refuel that. Okay, and then we need blade traps, and I believe if I just do like on face rotation, I can get this in a situation where it's pointing up just like this. And then I also do believe that if I put a trigger plate on here, the zombies will just run right up, hit the trigger, turn the dart trap on for, let's say, three seconds or something. And whoops, I did forget my wire tool. Oh geez, I'll hike over there and get it. Okay, so if I hook the generator up into the trigger plate, oh don't, don't give me that red line. Yep, and then hook this into that and we'll say delay of two seconds because we'll give the zombie time to get onto the ladder and a duration of uh, five seconds. There we go. Everything should be hooked up and powered. We'll just toss a couple of darts in here and we will focus on dart production some other time. So the reason basically that I got 
the two forget elixirs now is because I kind of have an idea that it might be fruitful for us to to like reclass over into strength, fill up minor 69er and mother load with those points, do just a t absolute ton, like a full 24 hours of mining, and then switch back over to intellect like the next night. And we could we could just try to get like all of our resources, like we'll get oil shale, we'll get iron, we'll go out to the desert, we'll do a whole bunch of mining out there or something. I don't know, I, I haven't fully thought this through, but for now, no more thinking. We need to start building. Get this stuff out of the way here. And with that, I can now kind of show you the final configuration for how this is all going to work. Because, you know, four blocks alone plus the ladder not doesn't look good, for one, and is not going to function well into the later stages here. So I need first the... Not the boot shape. I need, like, the corner boot shape. Oh, boy. You ever get in a situation where you know what you need, but you don't know what it's called, <laughs> and you can't find it because there's just too many shapes now? Oh, there it is right there. Wedge 60 corner tip cube quarter. <laughs> okay, then. That's the one I'm looking for, though. Oh, actually, I'm doing this like this. I think this will look pretty cool as, like, a little foot, and we'll do the same thing just upside down at the top so it kind of... I don't know, architecturally, it looks like it's it's um, more of a supportive shape and structure. And then basically the idea is to just do quarters, kind of like this, and we'll do the same thing all the way to the top. Just getting all those down so I can copy shape and just run them up later. And then there's the question of what to do in the middle, and I've got just the blocks for this. Okay, it's taken me a minute to settle on a design for this, but I think... I think that's looking good. If we just repeat that all the way to the top, let's see how that looks. Basically, I have four shapes. There's these two uh, wedge 60 split lefts, and I have two wedge 60 split rights, and they're all a different configuration. So it's basically one, two, three, four, and right up to the tippy top. All right, let's take a step back and just see how that's looking. Ooh, that's looking nice. Before I go any further though, I don't wanna forget about this important part up here, which is to upgrade these, because these are the, the ones that are connected to bedrock. I suppose this now is connected to bedrock too. So these are the load bearing blocks right here. In fact, just, just go straight up to concrete. The whole top up here is whole, held off of these shapes here. So it's incredibly important that these remain fully upgraded. Okay, so for the next several minutes, I'm just going to repeat what I've been doing here and see if we can get as much of this done as possible before the horde arrives. All right, with that project out of the way, I was hoping to get the kind of corner columns all the way up, but we're going to run out of time. I need to run back to the base, get the turret, get the ammo, everything else I need for Horde Knight, and I'll meet you back in position. Okay, first things first, turn on the generator. It's very quiet. I have to double check that it's running. And is this working? It's cycling. Oh, we got to lock ammo. Okay, as soon as we lock ammo, it should be good. This is more just a proof of concept thing anyway. I don't expect that to you know, change the course of the battle here. Okay, up into our final position here, and I think I can probably just, uh, oops, all these torches. <laughs> the torches are bad. Here, put the torches outside. And let's also put a torch here and right there. Always want good lighting, because you don't want to miss out on good information that you might otherwise miss in the dark. So let's, I don't, I'm not completely sold on this block here. I am... I do need to get this fully upgraded, though. And as I was stating before, this is a load-bearing block right there, so it's very important that that be fully upgraded and <laughs> repaired, for that matter. And another load-bearing... No, I think everything else is pretty good. Everything else is just kind of suspended here. And I do think that that will pretty much do it. Let's just get this upgraded a little bit here. I, I kind of... I'm, I'm not sure if I'm sold on this design because I was trying to think of what block would go on the corner if I was going to wrap it around the other side, and I don't know what that block would be, but this right here is going to be our turret spot, so we'll just kind of pop around the corner and drop this guy right here, and we'll reload him a couple of times. I don't have a whole lot of ammo, though, so, you know, going to get limited utility out of that. And in terms of up here, yes, just conduct a few slight repairs, and I think that's just about it. We could, uh, if birds become an issue, I could just pick the turret up and we do the trick where we just kind of go 
yoink just like that and let him kind of sit on the rooftop and shoot birds for me. Uh, to be determined on that one though. All right, survivors, the day 14 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. going pretty well so far. I think Junk Turret probably ran out of ammo there. He did. The mutated zombies are here, so we may be suffering from radiation damage periodically. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. This is one of the coolest bases I have ever seen. Once we get it running in full swing, I think it'll be even better. I can't wait to, like, stress test it, too, against all the tough zombies. So from here, yeah, it looks like the darts are doing quite a lot of damage. It seems like they get a really good angle on them as they crawl up the, the ladder there. Although sometimes they just, they trigger it and then they run off. So, you know, not Im imperfect, but pretty good, I'd say. All right, well, there's not much to do now except just fight them off as they trickle up here and just keep an eye out for any weaknesses. But for now, let's do this. Okay, all is quiet now. So I did hear the last dog died. There were a ton of dogs here on this horde night, whereas we didn't get any on the last one. There were also birds, there were bikers and mutated. Overall, a much more destructive and uh, dangerous horde. However, they didn't even stand a chance. This base is awesome. I do believe it is safe to go downstairs. Maybe just check on things a little bit here. The mutated zombies, I think, did most of the damage around here. That's gonna be something to account for eventually. And uh, just surveying the ladder on the way down here, a little bit of damage here and there, but nothing significant. Okay, yeah, that's definitely still working. It wasn't working quite as much as I thought it would. Uh, I think sometimes the zombies, they ran up, they jumped off, they ran around, they, they came up this ladder, or they came up this staircase and went up this ladder. So, one solution might be, if I could just please stop stepping on the, the darts here. One solution could, oh, let's just turn this off actually, now that I'm thinking about it, turn off. Uh, right, one solution might be this. We put a block in to kind of block the path on the corner and that would give even more stability all the way up to the top too. Okay, yeah, definitely something to consider. We gotta do that whole, and that'll actually, now that I think about it, it'll match what we're doing right here because we're gonna do the quarter block all the way to the top on this side. Kind of looks like the dogs were getting stuck up in. I'll call this the zipper here because it kind of reminds me of what a zipper looks like. And uh, that's fine. Oh, they did knock out one piece there, which was supposed to be that one. Okay, we can get that fixed. Oh, they broke another one up there. These bastards, how did they get that? Oh my God, they, oh, I don't know what's going on here, but that, that suddenly is quite concerning to me. You know what we could do though, 
is um, put some windows on the front so that uh, that won't happen again. Because I think they were like, the dogs were climbing on top of each other. They were climbing up onto this, then they were climbing up onto that and getting stuck in these little portions here. But I've got the perfect solution for that. The bulletproof windows. So essentially we could run these all the way to the top. Now, what's that going to look like there? Hey, that looks... That looks pretty good, honestly. I, I could definitely live with that. All right, something to work on for next week anyway. Let's clean up these loot bags before they disappear on us. Not very many of them. I think there were just three in there, plus the two that I picked up that fell right in front of me up at the fighting position. Well, I'm right here. Let's finish what we started and run these columns all the way to the top. All right, there you have it. I just finished it off, and that's what it looks like in the morning light. It's almost so big that it's hard to kind of get a look at it, but uh, I think it's looking pretty good. That's pretty much it. All we have to do is just upgrade it now and get it painted, and we'll work on, like, the top box portion a little bit, get that dressed up with some trim as well. Overall, I'm really enjoying the sort of simplicity of this base, both in terms of resources and in terms of mechanics. All we have to do is just keep an eye on the zombies, make sure they're not bashing holes in the ladder or if there's explosive demolition zombies make sure they're not like blowing up on the ladder i don't think that the dart trap is gonna put us at risk for that but yeah i'd say that horde night was a great success i cannot wait to see this base all painted up really looking forward to that we could maybe even look at look into doing that uh, for the next horde night because in terms of construction this is pretty much done we gotta work on traps is really the only thing traps lighting uh, foundation work make sure that we have like a nice strong pad here we do have to see we'll, we'll do some experiments to see if we can find a way to deal with the dogs more efficiently and then blade traps I'm gonna line the blade traps in a big long row out this way we'll do three rows of blade traps and that way when I uh, blast them off the edge there with stun repulsion, they'll just land into a sea of blade traps. And if you guys have any ideas on how to improve it, make sure you uh, leave me a broadcast down below. Otherwise, I'm going to get ready for my morning broadcast, and I will catch you guys hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.